Good evening everyone. My name is Adam and I am 12 years old. Today, I will tell you a story. The title, Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. And the time came for them to seek their fortunes. Before they left, their mother said, Whatever you do, do it as well as you can, because that is the way to get along in the world. The first little pig took his house out of straw, because it was the easiest thing to do. The second little pig took his house out of sticks. This was a little bit stronger than the straw house. The third little pig took his house out of bricks. One night, the big bad wolf, who really loved to eat fat little piggies, came along and saw the first little pig's house of straw. The wolf said, Let me in, let me in, little pig, or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. But of course, the wolf did blow the house down and ate the first little pig. The wolf then came to the house of sticks. The wolf said, Let me in, let me in, little pig, or I'll huff, and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house down. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the second little pig. But of which the wolf did blow their house down too and ate the second little pig. The wolf then came to the house of bricks. The wolf said, Let me in, let me in, little pig. Or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin said the third little pig. Well, the wolf huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow down that brick house. But the wolf was a sly old wolf and climbed up onto the roof to find a way into the brick house. The, li the third little pig saw the wolf climb up onto the roof and lit a roaring fire in the fireplace and placed on it a large kettle of water. When the wolf finally found a hole in the chimney, crawled down and kerplash right into the kettle of water. And that was the end of the big bad wolf. The next day, the third little pig invited his mother over. His mother said, See, it is just as I told you. The way to get along in the world is to do things as well as you can. Fortunately for that little pig, he learned that lesson and lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for listening to my story.